everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun card. I have made this card before. It's the floating pop card, I think I called it. Box pop card, something like that. And basically it has this piece of acetate through the middle here. So whatever you stick, it looks like it's floating, but it also pops up. And it's really, really fun to do and very easy. Folds completely flat and it will be a six by six size, but you can make this any size that you want. But the real fun factor about this card is that it is showing off the brand new Dovecraft Collection Secret Garden. Now this isn't even in the shop yet, so this is a sneaky peek of what's to come, um, what you can expect. And I just wanted to start sharing tutorials with you so you can start to see the kind of things you can make with this um, and just how versatile it is, because it is beautiful. It is. I was speaking to the guys at head office at Dreamcraft and I said to them, I think that this is my favourite collection ever. So it just has loads of, oh, just loads of bits to it and I think that's why it's so good. So I'm not going to show you all those pieces now, that would have been in my little um, what's in the box video that I shared yesterday and I will link that up here. So you can have a look in more detail exactly what is in this collection and there's also the new collection Happy You as well. So check out those two collections because they're beautiful. So we're going to make this one today, I'm going to pop that there. I will share the link to the one I made at Christmas which is up here somewhere now as well because that one has a different way of decorating it so obviously you, that might be something that you would rather do. But I've already gone as normal, gone ahead and done lots and lots of bits and pieces. But for anybody that didn't see the what's in the box video yesterday, this is Secret Garden. So this is the 8x8 paper pack. I have the 12 by 12 as well, but for this tutorial I'm just using the 8x8. Um, but you can just see a little overview. If you pause the video now, you'll be able to see um, you know, what's, what to expect really with this. But it is gorgeous. The Dovecraft collections are always wonderful and always have all those kind of matching embellishments. So if you like crafting with a matching collection, Dovecraft, yep, nail it, always lovely. So I'm going to pop all of this to one side because it is heavily decorated. I have all these pieces that I have gone ahead and I fussy cut. You can use the dies that come in the collection. You can use the stamps that come in the collection, which I will be doing. Oh, also, if you want to write on this one, you just write on the back. So any of these, I need to just put some white cardstock there. Um, but I have die cut the, the little fork, the spade, there's a little watering can and I'm going to show you other bits to it as well. I've done the bunting which is one of the one of the packs here so I just don't want to lose all these pieces because even these bits here <laughs> believe it or not they are these little triangle pieces which make the hinge so the idea is is that this is like a shed or the side of a shed it's just got a garden you know kind of obviously theme to it so I wanted to bring that into the card in some way I also found this little brad in my own stash but it's of a key so I thought on this one I'm going to have it as if it's the key for the the shed um, these are little bits here and then that's the cardstock. So I've used the bunting. So this is one of the things that you can buy um, to go with the papers. So it's a 60 mini bunting and twine. Then I'm using these. I love these. You get two sentiments. You get happy birthday, which is the one there. This lovely big tag. I fussy cut the bird and stuck him on top. I thought that was a really nice touch. And he just seems to, the colours of him complement it really well. But for today's card, I'm going to use the with love. Okay, so that's the then and there. You could obviously have a little bit of white card here if you want and write a little message on the back. But they're a really nice size. They're made really well. They've got a coating on them there, so they've got a little bit of a shine to them, but love them. So that's that one. Then I've used these here. These are the 12 paper flowers with the little, kind of little diamante in the middle, but I'm going to use the yellow ones on this one. Um, no, I was meant to use the pink, so I need to get the pink out actually, and I've used the yellow there. These were from my own stash, these leaves, I just wanted to kind of add a bit more greenery in, which I will use with these leaves now. Then that's come from this die set here. I have done a really nice um, project, which you'll see probably next week, and I've used the Wellington boot, I've used the fork and the trowel, um, you've got this beautiful bird, so that's another lovely little die set there. Okay, so to make the card you need two pieces that are six and a quarter by six. Okay, so the six height, the six is the height of the card. The six and a quarter, this is going to be the, the width of the card. And you want to score at three and at six. Okay, now one, one of them you can fold and burnish. 
okay like so so that's now going to be the back of the card this piece here is where you want to cut your window now you can have any shape um, I think the one I done at Christmas was a circle but I'm using a square today so I'm going to get rid of my scoreboard so you basically it doesn't matter if the tab is on your left and your right really but mine's on the right hand side here but this square I want to have it so that it's nice and centered within the two equal parts so ignore the tab pretend that's not there you want to make sure that it is centered within the two three by six pieces which is this one here and this one here ignore that tab Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of my purple tape and just off. But I just want to hold that in place. And then I'm just going to run that through my die machine. And it will go through the smaller one if that's what you've got. I've got the six inch one here. So okay, so now you've got your window. I'm going to get rid of this piece here. Then you can now fold and burnish. Because if you fold before and then run it through the die machine, it would just flatten what you've already, you know, folded over. So... If you do it now, you get a nice crisp fold, and again, those ones there, like so. Okay, next, what you want to do is you will need a piece of acetate. Now, this is one and a half by five and three quarters. Again, the size is entirely up to you, but that is going to stick in here. Now, you can either stick it before or after. So I'm going to stick it down now, just because I find that it's easier to do that way, but you may want to do it once you put everything together. So, yeah. It's just down to preference really, there is no right or wrong, but you just want to run some red tape along each side. I'm just going to make sure that's all stuck down, okay, and then you want to stick this in the middle, um, just up to the score line of where you're going to have your little tab there, and then this one here, you just want to bring it just slightly shy. Basically, you actually you want to lie it down flat because it needs to go in an envelope. So lie it down flat and then stick that down. Okay, and now when it opens, you'll see it bows out and we're going to be sticking or whatever it is you're going to be sticking right on the, the top there where it curves over because um, then whatever it is will kind of pop about. Okay, so next, now this is optional because I want mine to look like a shed um, or that kind of, you know, a barn, something within the garden. <laughs> This is the inside here. So what I've gone and done is I've cut a load of these strips. Now I've already distressed them and I'll show you what I did when I stick it all down because I'm going to distress the fronts. But these are half an inch by six and you will need 10. And then you'll need two pieces that are six by slightly shorter than half an inch. Okay, just to kind of stick right in these two ends here. So all I've done is just stick them down. So I'm going to run some glue and start by sticking them either side of that score line in the middle there. So if you look inside, you can see the score line. Don't butt them right up to each other because it would just make this not want to sit in that position very well because there'd be too much bulk there. So I'm just going to grab some glue here and just get them all stuck down. So that's all stuck down, but also don't stick that last one down on the edge where you don't have the tab, because what you want to do first is stick this on and then stick it over. It just conceals it all and just makes it a little bit more um, neater. So I'm going to just grab some of my red tape and just run that along here. Again, you don't have to use the tape, it's just my preference. I'm going to take a little wedge off of each of those ends as well, just so that um, none of it kind of pokes out the top. Again, make sure it's all nice and secure. And then this one, you just want to make sure you line up your score line with the end. Fold it over like so, and then open it up. And now I can just stick this one. But this is only if you're doing these pieces, but I would even say do it that way. Um, stick this one down partly so don't obviously stick it all together and then put your whatever it is you're going to mat inside there because you might have some decorative paper on there instead but again look at my tutorial last year because the size is the same but obviously I have decorated it slightly differently 
Okay, so now I have this really fun background. I think it looks quite authentic. I really like how it's turned out. Now to get that effect, I have used the just uh, the Tim Holtz Distressed Ink, and this is the Frayed Burlap. I usually use Vintage Photo, but I've really liked this one, um, and I've used it a lot lately. Um, but now I've stuck it all down. Obviously, I want to distress the ends even more, and you can start to see there. You get this real nice aged look. You can see how that looks and I think you know when you think about you know your shed or something the bottom is always you know darker than the rest and then, you know especially when you've had maybe like a, a storm and lots of rain and stuff you always get it quite dirty on the bottoms so I'm going to do it there and I'm also going to do it on the top there okay and then once I put this all together I'm going to just stress all in here as well because it does look really good um, with that on there. So next you want to make sure before you stick this down you want to do any of the decoration that you're going to be doing in the middle. So I have these little pieces here which again completely optional but I just thought they looked quite good as little hinges um, and then I've got these tiny little brads. I think I'm going to use the green ones because they're the only ones I seem to have three of or did I have another one I've lost it anyway but I'm just going to cut the tops of them off and then I stick them on top and that's what I've done to get that effect there then I have this piece here which is so it's one and three quarters high it can be as high as you want this is to make the grass oh it is six but I think I will end up bringing that in but all I'm going to do is I've got these vegetable scissors here and I just cut down like so, so that gives me all of the grass, and you can leave it if you want just like that, but now I just go in and just cut each one a different height, just kind of go off at an angle, it doesn't take long to do, but again I just think it gives you quite a nice grass effect, if you look in there, you can just about see, it's probably too dark, you'll see it better in the photos, but you can see already there, um, do that one a little bit sharper, there you go, you get just a nice effect, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, so I've done my grass, so now that is going to sit along there. And I might be able to just keep it the length it is. No, I'm going to trim. Uh, the reason I just trim everything a little bit shorter than the full six inch width is just to kind of take away some of the bulk that you would get when you fold it flat. So now that one there, yeah, will sit in there nicely. I think that looks really good. So I'm going to stick my grass down, stick that down, and then I have all these little flowers that I fussy cut from one of the papers in the paper pack, and they are just going to pop up from the grass there, just a few randomly. And again, I just think that adds um, not only a nice bit of colour, but it just brightens up the inside um, like so. Um, I've already gone ahead and made a little plant pot, I just cut a piece of the paper again from that paper pack, just cut it some wedges out to give it that plant pot shape, popped a little lip along the top and then popped a couple of those flowers there and that's like I've done there so that's going to stick on the front. So I'm going to get this middle stuck down, get those brads stuck down and then I'll be back. Okay, so that's the inside all stuck down. So now I'm going to run some red tape along this other tab. Again, I've just taken some little wedges off of the two ends. Okay, and then with this one, I like to stick it all together when it's open. So I can make sure I get a really nice join, like so. And then lie it all down flat. And just, again, make sure that's all stuck down. And now you've got your card ready to just decorate however you want. So obviously if you're not doing too much inside, then you would have already probably put yours together. But now it's for me, it's just down to decorating. So I've got this gorgeous bunting and this I think really starts to bring the card together. So I've done mine so it sticks completely straight along the very top, like so. Then, like I said, I've got these that are gonna go either side there. This one is gonna stick, so I'm gonna pop, because you're sticking to acetate, as I always say, um, use the red tape if you've got it, or a very strong double-sided. If you use a wet glue, more than likely it will end up just peeling off. So, whereas this here does have a real, real strong bond. So I'll stick this one down now, because then you can see. So I'll put the other one on a slight angle, just because I thought if it's hanging, it tends to hang down. But you also want to make sure you stick your 
um, your tape so that it's vertical, okay? Because you want there to be just a little bit stuck. You don't want to stick it horizontal, otherwise too much of that will be stuck flat like so and it won't pop up. It just wouldn't look as, as fun, I don't think. Whereas if you have it like that, you can see it really does pop out which is kind of the effect that, well, that's what I went for when I first made this card. And then that's going to stick with some hot glue with one of these little metal brads so it looks like it's kind of hanging off of a, a nail. Those two either side, the bunting along the top, and then all of these bits and pieces so I can recreate this scene here. Stick the little bird on and then, yeah, we're pretty much done. So there are both the finished cards. I think they look really, really good. I just love all the different parts to it. There's just so much to look at. The little key hanging there. I've done the backs as well. So this is two and three quarters by five and three quarters and I've popped them on both sides. It's entirely up to you. And on that one there, I've just fussy cut little parts of the collection just to kind of tie it all together. Um, but yeah, they look great. The collection is out soon, so you haven't got long to wait. I will pop a little thing on my Facebook group to say that it's available. Um, I'll update the links below this video as well. So um, yeah, so you'll be able to know, um, you know where you can get it. But um, yeah, I think a lot of you are gonna want this one because it is just a beautiful collection. So hope you've enjoyed the card today. Hope I've inspired you. It won't be too long and then you can get your hands on it. Thanks for watching, bye.